705 in Bryn Mawr. This is the calm before the actual big storm. Sandy has hit Atlantic City a couple hours possibly away from here. Now it's 749. It's coming up a little bit more. More steady wind. Now 829. Sandy comes into Brynmar. 844. 9.25 p.m. Monday night. Windy and rainy. Yes. Smells like the ocean. Sandy bring the ocean, the sand with it. Woo. Now about 9.42. Now it seems windier. Winds come up quite a bit. Light off of that tree that was on there. See some lights around. That's much more windy than it was. That was the Whoa, probably doesn't sound good in this Whoa. Somebody's out and driving though. People are out driving. After 10, oh, those lights are back on now. They were off for a little while. It is pretty windy. It's still raining. But all in all, not the storm of the century here. Even though Atlantic City and New York seem to have taken pretty bad, here goes the pretty, pretty strong winds. People are out. People are not afraid of the storm. People are driving. It is a devastating. The morning after in New Jersey. Uh, we have a lot of work to do. I have much worse than here in Bryn Mawr. I have confidence in the fact the morning after in Bryn Mawr, yes, we have a lot of rain still. Not much wind. You can see the tree that I could see last night. Nothing on our porch is gone. We did all that work to make sure but we didn't really ever have the kind of winds that New York and New Jersey got, thank God. The shore got. So we dodged the bullet here in Bryn Mawr with Hurricane Sandy becoming pretty much just a strong rainstorm. Not too strong and not too devastating. We had electricity, at least here. We do have friends who have lost electricity on the main line. Good luck with everybody. I hope everybody's safe and dry.